When you want nonsense, your life is full with nonsense. Because in the path that the person wants to walk in, that's the path that they're going to lead him through. In that path. They're going to lead you. So now you look at yourself and you say, okay, but I'm standing in a certain place and I want to say that I don't want that place, but it's written that they are leading me in that path that I want to be led, that I want to walk in. And you cannot argue with those verses. You cannot argue with the Gemara Gdasha. You cannot argue. You must open your eyes and your heart to listen and to think, how can it be? If I'm standing now in a place in my life that I'm not happy, that I'm not satisfied, that I want to change so many things, how can it be that it's written that they are leading me to walk in a certain trail, in a certain path, and that is the path that I wanted to walk in. How can it be? I'm suffering. I don't want to be here. I want to go. So how can it be that I'm here? <clears throat> if you're really going to observe, if you're really going to look deep inside, you're going to see that inside of yourself, you have a lot of anger on yourself. And that you hate yourself. And that you, if you had the ability to destroy yourself, you would destroy yourself. And you have many, many foreign thoughts that you don't deserve. Your self-esteem is very low and you feel not accepted and you don't believe that you're worthy to succeed and to grow. And all of those foreign thoughts are also like a magnet that brings many, many situations into your life. If you feel that you're lousy, if you feel that you're a disgrace, that's how you bring insultings and shames into your life. But when you understand that you are a creation of Hashem, a creation of the Creator, a child of heaven, a holy pure soul, like that the verses are saying, like that Hashem is telling you who you are. You're my child, and I love you, and I care about you, and I'm going to answer you, and you're important to me. When you're going to understand that, that who that Hashem told you that you are, that's who that you really are, when you're going to understand that, then you're going to grow. Then nothing in the world will be able to stop you. Nothing, not one thing in the world will be able to hold you back from your eternal success. Because when you have faith in yourself, <laughs> you have faith in the Creator. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.